Hi everyone, it's Christine here. So I'm going to do the tutorial of making this gorgeous little stacked envelope notebook. And um, so I'm just going to make the the main booklet, booklet part, which is I've just got two um, pieces of book page. Um, this was from an old book that had been water damaged and the top of it I've had to tear it out off because the top of it was already um, mouldy. So first of all, I'm just going to glue these two together just so it gives a bit of strength. Um, to the main book. Just cover that with a bit of glue. So that just gives that a bit of strength instead of just using one book page. And then it's just a matter of folding that in half. So you can make these any sizes. You can use a bigger book page if you want. Um, I just find these little ones are, are really cute. Um, okay, so we'll do all the um, inking. Oh, I'll do the inking now, just so it sets it off. So I'm just using um, chestnut colour ink, which I just find is um, really close to the colour you get in old books when they start turning. So... And I tend to leave all the raw edges, like if they're cut or pulled out of a, or torn, pulled out of a book. So it just adds to the character. So I'm just doing all around, inside and out, around the edges. it like that and so with the envelopes I've already made some out of book pages that I'm going to use but I'll just show you how I how I do it so again I just get an old book page and I bring the bottom corner up and just make sure that it's evenly along the edge so it makes a square and then I just bring that down like that so I get a bit of a score line and then I just pull that off. I'm going to use that for the next um, envelope and I just bring that where I've um, flattened this paper here, this score line, I just bring that across. I don't flatten it except for just a little bit just in that center so I get where I need to bring in this edge into the middle along that score line like that and then I bring that up like that and I bring it up a little bit um, so that you can see there's a bit of squareness of that paper there and I just make this little bit here. So I fold it out like that so it's easier to get that straight. And then I fold it inwards. So then it's going to look like that. OK. 
okay and before I glue anything um, because I'm going to ink everything to make it look vintage I just ink that bit because that needs to be glued down and I ink these edges because they're on the inside they'll be glued down under that flap just like that and now I'll glue that down so first of all I just flip that up and just give this a little bit of a glue and just fold that down and onto itself so then that's that main flap now I just see where the edge of this piece of paper here comes and it's about that far up so I know where to put some glue because I don't want to glue where I shouldn't put glue so I'll just do that on both sides but this is something you can play around with too it's so fun okay and so that's a little envelope so what I do is I just bring this down because I will um, ink that as well so you get this nice inked bit I don't worry about inking that because I'm actually gluing that down but if you're using this in any other way in a junk journal um, as a pocket you you'd ink that edge but for this um, project um, it's going to be hidden so and I just ink around the edges And if you find any bits that need to be glued down, um, you can do that as well after you finish in inking. So I ink front and back, I pull that down and I just ink along the top. And the reason that I do this here is because when I glue it down then that's already inked and I don't have to worry about trying to get to it so so here's this is open a bit so I will put, add a bit of glue to that just in there just to hold that down just like that okay and so this piece again you can make a little envelope and they're so adorable i love them so much and you can usually get two out of this piece and so that's used up a whole piece of paper yep. and again just a little bit of pinch in the middle there so then you know where to take that corner into the middle that corner into the middle and then that corner that up there with a little bit up folded up the side that down to get that straight and then you tuck it inside and then it's ready for gluing some of them can be a bit out of shape but that doesn't bother me I really love the whole technique of it so again glue that um, ink that ink that ink that and fold it all back together again like that and glue that inside flat down first and then just hold it there then we're just going to glue there and glue on that side there and then it's just a matter of inking front and back on the sides And 
that one's ready to use as well. And the same with this one. So out of one page, I mean, that's three little envelopes. Bring in those corners. Bring that up, bring that middle bit down so you get that flat look like you have in the envelopes. So it's always good to do the folding first and you get it all together like that and then you know exactly where to go from there. So again, it's gluing this little flap down is the first step. Just holding that there. And then if you're inking, you ink that, that flat bit there and these two edges here. Because once they're glued down, it's really difficult to ink those two edges. So then put it back together again so you know where you're at again. Then you open this flap and we're going to glue it down. So we're going to put a little bit of glue on that side and that side to hold this front bit of the envelope down like that. And that's like that and then you just carry on inking around and by making them so neutral once you add the color they are so adorable um, I haven't got any here on hand so but yeah So I'll show you um, in another video, you'll see that I've used these and added colour in and, and it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning once you add colour. So once you've got your little group of envelopes, I sort of get a selection where the fonts all different and different sizes. So um, I'm going to use those. It's just a matter of working out how you want to stagger them on the page sort of like that and maybe um, like that so just play around with it first before gluing anything down Maybe this little one up the top. Okay, so I think I've already made a mistake because when I made this one, I actually put these between these two pieces of paper. So, but that's okay, I'll just add another piece of paper. There. In fact, I might even add an inside pocket. So I'll show you in a minute what I do. So I'm just going to glue. I like the way that those envelopes are. Um, even go that way. See how they're all like staggered on top of each other? It looks fabulous. I love it. Okay, so just remember how you want them because now we're going to glue them down. And we need to glue them down in the order that you want them. So this is the first one I glue down. So I'm going to add glue to this tab.
just lay it there it's going to be easier and then bring that over like that so then that's the first one him next so just glue that tab that it doesn't matter that they're showing so don't um, panic about that at all and I'm going to add this one in here see how all the different fonts and sizes of the fonts is awesome such a lovely combination And then this last little one, he's going to go in here, about there. Okay, he's going to go in here. So then they're stacked, just like that. So he can flip out that one, that one, and that one. So by making it all neutral later, you can add anything in here when you're ready to put it into a journal. Just like that. Okay, so now we're going to cover up these. So I'm just going to get a book page and I'm going to add a pocket on the inside now. So this one hasn't got it is because I put those tabs between these two pieces of book page of the cover. But this one, because I went ahead too fast and did it that way, we're going to do it this way. So then it gets covered up and we're just going to do it um, a little pocket here. So, what I might do is, you don't, don't want it all to the centre, you want it back a bit so that you can put things in. Just fold that over there so you get the length that you need. Off. I'm going to just eyeball sort of the centre and I'm going to ink around that just so it's just too hard to try and ink once you've glued it down. So this is going to go over there. So we're just going to glue along there, along the bottom and up there. And along the bottom. Make sure this goes right to the edge because we want to cover those 
contents of the envelopes. Okay. So that's an inside pocket. And we're going to do the same for the back. I love book numbers, so I'm going to keep that. And just fold that over to get the length of it. that off that's a bit we don't want but this bit you can make little little envelopes with it so they're so cute and now because I want the number I'm just going to do a little indent there. and I'm just going to ink that And again, we're going to just glue the inside edge. Can I get the glue out? Glue there. Glue there. And glue along the bottom. So I've just turned my book upside down so I can get this on here firmly in the right place. So that's the back pocket ready. So I'm just going to go around and ink those two pockets that I've added in. And because we already inked the inside there, we um, don't have to worry about that now, which is good because they're really hard to get to once they're glued down. And we're going to do the back here. So now that is ready for tea dyed paper for the notebook part. So what have I got here? One, one, two, three, four. So I want it. I don't want it right to the edge, so I want it back a bit. So I'm just measuring it like this. And I'm just going to tear. Tear that. And again, this is perfect size you can use in other crafts or make... Um, I'll show you. I'll keep a piece there and I'll show you what I'm thinking. Um, now, and then we want the size. How did we go that size? That. going to fold these over to make the booklet part. I like that dark colour so I'm going to make that as the outside front. So I can fold all these together. They'll go in like that. So I'm just going to 
sew these in. So I can hold this together while I sew it. Sew it. So I'm just using um, crochet cotton, but there's many things you can use. I've even got um, tooth floss that I can use. It's quite good it's waxed and I've used that to sew in signatures before the hardest thing I find is getting it in in through the needle head now so I just eyeball the center poke that through and then I grab the tail because I don't want that to go through and you can actually just put that under the um, pin if you want and then I'm going to just eyeball that I want that one there I want to go all the way down again, try and eyeball that so it's sort of even. Okay, like that. So you've got this tag um, on that side of the cotton, and when you go back through here, make sure it comes up on the other side of the cotton okay and then it's just a matter of just tightening that and then just tying a knot okay so that's tied off And that's taken off and then you've got your little booklet just like that and then um, you can make tea dyed like I've done here tags ready so that you can put them in the back so they're ready and now that we've got this pocket here which we didn't have in this pocket we can make another tea dyed card and put them here and it actually makes it quite strong then once you've got your um, I'll see if I've got another one. Where have I put that? I'll put it somewhere else. Anyway, that's okay. So you get the idea with um, how to do the tags. So, and being so neutral, once you start adding colours. To it it just makes it pop it's absolutely stunning so there you've got these little tags you can put little tags in oh that's what I was going to show you Bit of glue in that one from when I glued the tags down so this is great um, you can use these as little notebooks to go in like this so 
so little writing spots because you don't always have to use tags you can use tea dyed paper and um, So you've got little writing spots in there and that's how it looks isn't it gorgeous I love it and then with the closure um, you can make the co closures using anything um, you can use twine you can use the seam binding like what I've got here And this was that other piece that I had left over. I'll show you how. You just make the tiniest little envelope. It's so cute. So again, you just, and you just tear that. Tear that down. I've got that score line there I just pull that right to the other side of the corner pinch it in the middle there so I know how far to go in with the corners see how tidy this little envelopes getting it's so cute and this one because it's so small you don't even have to worry about that bending it down you can just glue it um, if you want to ink it, I'll ink it now, just like the other ones. And put the tiniest little bit of glue just there. that up like that there. that's so cute so adorable these look great on tags just like that so cute and again you can just Stick that on there and put your colour in that. So, I don't know if I've got any colour here. No, no I don't have any colour at hand to show you. sorry about that but yeah you get the idea okay so that was the original one where I didn't have the pocket on the inside I just had it on the back and the different papers and this is the one I've just made with you And then that has an inside pocket with the notebook. You can even do an, um, a pocket this end as well, but I've got that on the back. And then that covers the, um, the flaps of the envelopes. So, there. So, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate um, my subscribers and anyone watching my videos. Um, so... 
there's plenty more videos in my channel so please stay and, and have a watch of a few and hopefully you have a go at making these gorgeous little envelopes they're so sweet and making these little notebooks book page notebooks so um, they look great in all your projects and um, you can make a bundle of them while you're watching a movie and then you've got them all stacked up ready to go and then you add your colour in um, once you're ready to use them in your journals or these are great as gifts like posting them off to friends and um, but yeah you add your colour then and all your little uh, special notes and things like that to your friends so um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.